Hi guys, um, so I'm finally doing the second part of my Shein haul. Um, so this has a bit of range in the items that I am going to show you. Um, so I have obviously some t-shirts, um, I have bought pajamas from Shein, I've bought some shoes, um, and I bought a hat. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So this is one of the many shirts that I've bought from Shein. So they're all basically the same, same size, same everything. They're just different slogans on them. Um, and then these are one of the pairs of pajamas that I've bought. So um, I said before in my previous video that um, the pajamas from Shein, they're all made from a really nice feeling material. It's really soft and um, even though they're long pajamas, like they're ankle length, they're not hot to sleep in. They're actually really comfortable. Um, so this is one of five pairs of pajamas that I've bought. I've already shown you one pair was a matching set. Um, and these ones, if I can get the camera to show you. So these ones are elastic at the ankle as well. Okay, so I'll show you the next outfit now. Um, now keep in mind that I don't wear a lot of shorts. I don't like them. Um, I feel more comfortable in pants. I also like dresses, but um, there's a bit of range <laughs> and there's a very big difference between what you'll see outfit wise in my videos versus some of the other Shein hauls that you see on YouTube. Um, I buy stuff that I feel comfortable in, that I think will look good on me, as opposed to what the people watching might want me, what might want to see. So, okay, next outfit. Okay, so outfit number two is um, this bodysuit that I bought. So it is um, really comfortable really soft and um, first bodysuit I've ever owned so it's one of many that I'm probably going to buy down the track because it is just so comfortable um, so it has uh, snap locks down in the crotch um, for easy bathroom use I guess <laughs> um, but yeah it's just really easy to get on so and the other item of clothing that I have with this is this pair of elastic ankle again. I'm a fan of the elastic ankle. Um, tartan hot pink <laughs> pants which have uh, cargo pockets in the side. They don't have pockets here but it's got cargo pockets. Um, and they are really comfortable. Um, the only problem that I would say, obviously you can see they sit on my hips rather than on my waist. Um, so I found even though I buy my pants from Shein always in the same size, um, that even though some of them are high waisted and some of them are not. So it kind of just depends on the pants themselves and you have to wait until they turn up and try them on and see where they sit. Um, so fortunately these ones are quite comfortable on the hips. I have other pairs that I've gotten from Shein that are more comfortable on the waist. So you just take your chance really with the ones that you pick out. <laughs> On to the next outfit. Okay, so outfit number three. Um, this is another pair of pants that I showed you in a previous video in the haul video rather than the try on video. Um, so they're called something carrot pants, which I'll, I'll put up on the screen anyway. <laughs> um, and I've put them with this Michigan t-shirt, which is actually extra long as they class it, but this is how long shirts should always be in my opinion. Um, and I wear this one to sleep in because it's really comfortable. And I've paired it with these green sort of like army green, khaki green pants, uh, which do have pockets. And they also sit on the hips. 
and unfortunately they had a drawstring which wasn't really a drawstring it was just sewn to the front of the pants um, and stupid me instead of taking the pants off first while wearing them I tried to cut it off with scissors and I cut a hole <laughs> in the front of the pants themselves um, so I've since um, bought a second pair of these pants which is on its way um, but until the elastic in these in the waistband snaps because I've cut it um, I'll continue to wear these ones because they still are comfortable um, so they are a little tighter in the hip than I would have hoped um, compared to some of the other pants that I've gotten from Shan um, but they're still comfortable so end of the day they're great pants they're good fabric they um, they have a little bit of stretch in them um, so every pair of pants that I buy from Shein is 4XL um, and I will give you my hip and waist measurements at the start of this video so that you can compare if you are similar in size what size you should be buying from, from Shein um, although in saying that you know everybody's a different body type style shape etc etc so you might have a longer torso than me you might have a shorter torso, you might have a bigger bum, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. On to the next outfit. Next outfit. Um, so this is a bit of an odd one. I bought this as a, well it's advertised as a um, an exercise shirt or a fitness shirt. Um, so it's long sleeve, it's grey and it's that annoying sheen thing that they do where you can't tell the front from the back because there's no tag. <laughs> um, also on this one, it's actually longer one side compared to the other. So you can choose whether you want to wear the long side at the front or the back. I go front because I prefer longer shirts. Um, and I've also got it on with another pair of pajama pants. So again, really comfortable, not hot to, work, to sleep in. Um, and I also have the exact same ones in a different color. That's how comfortable they were. <laughs> so I tend to, if I find a item of clothing that I really like, it's really comfortable, I will buy multiples of it. As you've seen with the red pants that I originally showed you, I've since bought them in black, uh, three pairs to wear to work. Um, and there's also um, a shirt that I have bought. Originally I had it in um, navy blue. I've since bought it in green and I have it on its way in red. So, um, yeah, on to the next. Uh, so this is another one of the t-shirts. Um, and I'm still wearing the same pajama pants, but <laughs> I'll show you uh, another addition that I'm going to put over the top. So this is this is, as you can see, very colourful. It's also very warm. <laughs> um, so it's knitted. And I'm probably in time for next winter. I'm going to add, see if I can add a button to it. So I can actually close it up. But it is really comfortable, really warm and great for winter. Um, so it is very colorful <laughs> um, I haven't had a chance to wear it out a lot I did wear it to the movies a couple of weeks back um, so yeah I'll show you the next outfit now so next outfit is another t-shirt different logo again um, and these very loud and colorful pants again with the elastic ankle um, so these are kind of in between. I can wear them on my hips quite comfortably, but they are a little long in the crotch. Or I can pull them up. They don't quite go all the way to my waist, um, which should be there. So, personal preference really about where you would want them to sit. Um, if you're more short-waisted than I am, then they'll probably come to your waist and you won't have a problem. 
Um, but either way, they're comfortable. They are, um, I think it's polyester. I'll have to check the label. But I think it's, yeah, it's that, at, um, when it's hot, you sweat. It's that kind of fabric. Um, but other than that, they're really cool, <laughs> basically. Um, on to the next outfit. Okay, so final outfit for today um, until my next parcel arrives. Um, so this is another of the t-shirts. This time in blue. Um, different logo again, obviously. And then we have these pants. So these pants are a little bit different to all the rest. They're not elastic ankle. Um, they are elastic as you can see hopefully they have that weird sort of cinch fabric waistband um, so they will sit on my hips but it doesn't look right and they don't quite come high enough on my waist as you can see to sit properly and they kind of give you that bunching thing in the crotch which is really annoying um, so it's almost like they needed a little bit more fabric here to be able to sit where they should without the bunching. It's kind of like they're short crotched in a way. But apart from that, they are comfortable. They're the same fabric as the last pants, which were 95% um, polyester and 5% elastane. Um, so you will find that on hot days, this fabric does make you sweat a bit. Um, but it's stretchy, it's comfortable, and honestly when you're a 4XL you don't have a lot of choices, <laughs> um, generally speaking, so can't complain. Anyway, um, so now I'll show you some of the shoes that I've bought and the hat that I bought. Okay, so now that we're done with the clothes for the time being, um, in my previous video, I showed you these shoes, which were uh, European 43, which is the biggest they come in. Um, and I'm an Australian women's 11. I have very large feet. So I was disappointed when I tried these on and they don't actually fit. I can get my foot into it, but they're really tight. I'll show you what I mean. So my toe is at the end. My heel is going to rub like anything. And why width wise, they are really tight as well. Unfortunately, I'm having to return them because unfortunately they are one of three items that I'm having to return, which in my previous jean video I told you I was returning the black um, overall dungaree kind of things. Um, the other item is a pair of pants which I'll put the um, photo up here on the screen um, and the reason I'm having to return them unfortunately because I really like them um, is because they're about that far from actually doing up. They're not high enough to be high waisted so I have to do them up at my hips and I cannot actually get them closed there's that big a gap so they're getting returned because they are also obviously the wrong size even though they're a 4XL like every other pair of pants that I bought um, they are not stretch fabric that's the other problem they do have elastic at the back of the waistband um, but the front is a clasp. Um, so the other pair of shoes that I bought, I bought these um, along with the dress that I, the first thing I bought from Shan, the dress that I showed you, um, to wear to a friend's wedding. And I bought these shoes to go with it. So, um, First of all, I haven't worn platform shoes since the early 2000s. <laughs> um, they are the same size, as you can see, European 43, as 
the other flat shoes that I've just shown you, which don't fit, um, the only advantage with these ones is that all of the straps are elastic. So I'll show you, these ones do actually fit. So as you can see, they are also a little bit short. Um, my heel is right on the end and my toe, because I have a long second toe, is just over the end at the front. But because they're open shoes and they're elastic straps, I can pull them off. So my advice to any women who have large feet like I do, size 10, 11 in Australian women's shoe sizing, um, don't buy European 43s from, from Shein because they won't fit. Um, they do have other um, sizing on there. I think there's, there's European or US, but they don't have Australian shoe sizes on there that are not that I've seen anyway. Um, so I don't know how US sizes differ from Australian sizes because there is a pair of shoes on there that I've seen that are in a US women's 11 um, and I'm tempted to buy them just to test them out um, but I haven't bought them yet <laughs> so the other item that I bought which I have to take my hair down to put on because otherwise it won't fit on my head um, I've actually taken a photo instead of me wearing it the other day so I'll put it on the screen now is this awesome red fedora hat um, I love hats I've always loved hats I used to have a million hats growing up um, and this is the first one of this style that I've owned and I really like it uh, love the color but it is a little bit small so it's a one size fits all. So if you've got a big head, don't even bother. So I have a lot of hair, but in order to wear hats, I put my hair down at the base of my neck. Um, so it's not in the way. But even then, putting the hat on, it's like, it. you push it down and it slowly comes back up. You push it down and it slowly comes back up. Um, so I did manage to get it to sit the other day and stay put. Um, took a little bit of persuading but it, it does fit so I'm keeping it um, but yeah I would just advise that if you've got a bigger head than some other people maybe don't bother with the hats um, or else bother with a hat that is not one size fits all um, if it actually gives you the measurements like the circumference of your head measure your head and go off the sizes but I think most of their hats are one size fits all so what are you going to do? <laughs> anyway, so um, that is the end of this video, but I will have another one coming because I have a Shein package on the way with lots of clothes in it. Um, so I might do that one as an unboxing like I did with the previous video from Shein. So anyway, thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.